Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to episode five of our Thor series. And we are talking about oscillators. And specifically in this episode, we're talking about the phase modulation oscillator. What does it do? What is phase modulation? How does it work? You know, all that good stuff. So, uh, Real quickly, if you haven't watched the other episodes prior to this one, uh, where we already talked about um, these four knobs, these are these are the same: keyboard, octave, semitone, tune. Um, so we we explained what all those do, and um, it'd be episode three where we talk about the analog oscillator. So we're gonna go straight to the meat here, and uh, and discuss what exactly is going on with uh, with this bad boy so first I want to say this uh, sine wave it's not really a sine wave but it just sounds pretty sweet um, as basses go it just sounds mean so um, I get, that one gets my recommendation out of the out of the gate so uh, we've got two waveforms so, and they're kind of unusual. And then we've got phase modulation button there. Uh, so, so let's let's just look at one here. It's a sign. I mean, that that is a sine wave here. So you can see it just changed the shape of the wave. It, you know, it almost became a uh, halfway between a square wave and a sine wave. So that went from sine wave to a square wave. So and you can see the picture there. It's a square wave. So that, so when it's all the way to the right, your phase modulation is, you know, it kind of matches up with what your picture is. And then all the way, it removes the phase modulation. And you can see this has got that little, that little dagger right there. And then that's followed by a sign. Ooh, that's painful. Almost the same. You can hear it taking the harmonics out when you sweep it down. So... So that's that. There, there's the actual waves themselves. So then you have the second one. So then you start combining them. Same wave, same sound, different wave, different sound. see how it's combining them so this one we got the kind of half a sign it's half a square it off combines it um, so I think it, it, you can kind of see what it's actually doing but uh, you know it kind of surprises me how, how pretty much how spot-on these are when you're looking at the wave shape to it's this plus this you know, it literally looks just like that. Yeah. 
that plus that. Yep, that plus that. So obviously the sound is what matters here, but so it's adding or removing harmonics, which depending on which way you're going, um, and they're kind of all you know starting from a, a sine wave. Here, when you've removed all the harmonics, you've, you've, you've made a sine wave or some version of one, more or less. Um, and really, you know, other than experimentation, that's about all there is to say about that. You know, this, I mean, this particular oscillator, I, I haven't really used it a whole lot, but it makes some mean sounds. So um, definitely one to play with. I think that some excellent bass sounds there, um, but uh, just play with it and, and see what you think now that you can see what these uh, what's actually going on with the wave shapes as you're kind of messing around with this. So like and subscribe if you uh, appreciate this content. And um, on the uh, next episode, we're going to cover uh, FM pairs. Um, so the FM pair oscillator uh, and, and all the weird sounds that you can make with that. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.